WordPress has several built-in features designed to help you streamline your workflow and work more efficiently. In the next few minutes, I wanna show you some of my favorite shortcuts and time-saving tools that will help you get more done faster. Let's jump straight in. First up, the command palette. When you are editing your site and wanna open the command palette, click the top toolbar. Or use the shortcuts Command plus K on Mac or Control plus K on Windows. The command palette gives you a central place to perform actions across your site. No need to dig through menus or settings. If you wanna create a new page or post, for example, just type add page or add post and then click on add new. The command palette is really a great way to move around your site quickly whilst editing. Next, let's talk about shortcuts because the more shortcuts, the better. You can even use the command palette to look them up. Just type keyboard and then select keyboard shortcuts to see a full list of available shortcuts to use. One of the shortcuts I use every day is to use the forward slash command to swiftly add any block to your site. Did you know there are different editor modes to choose from? And they especially come in handy when you're trying to work on something without any interruptions. When you are creating a page or post, click the three vertical dots in the top right corner to access them. Let's start with distraction-free mode. Distraction-free mode removes sidebars and toolbars for a clean, focused writing experience. When you select a block, you can solely focus on writing and editing, and to see your toolbar hover over the top of the page. Next, we can select Spotlight mode. Spotlight mode dims everything except the block you're working on. Great for staying focused on one section at a time. Next, if you are like me and use the list view to organize and view content more easily, you can now choose to always have the list view open. Once again, click on the three vertical dots top right and make your way to preferences at the bottom of the list. And then you can merely toggle on the always open list view option. Once enabled, when you open a page or post, the list view will always be visible. Another option to take note of if you haven't done so already is making use of content scheduling. When you are finished with writing a post, click on publish top right and then click on the date next to publish. Then you can choose a suitable date and time for the post to go live. Content scheduling helps you to plan strategically while ensuring your posts go live at the optimal times for your audience. Another great tool is creating a reusable block or pattern. If you have created a cool pattern or found one you really like, you can save it as a custom pattern. Merely select the pattern, click on the three vertical dots, and then select Create Pattern. Then you can name it appropriately and select a category. Then you can save it as a synced or non-synced pattern. A synced pattern updates automatically wherever it's used when you make changes, while a non-synced pattern allows you to edit each version separately. And when you're done, click on Add. And now, when you add a pattern to a page or post, you will see all your custom patterns below My Patterns. Next, remember WordPress allows you to perform bulk actions. Bulk actions help you to quickly apply the same action to multiple posts, pages, and other content types, such as images, comments, etc. If you are editing multiple posts, you can bulk delete or bulk edit. And for example, apply the same category to various posts. Or if you are in your media library, you can click on bulk select, select multiple images and delete them simultaneously. Another feature I use on a daily basis is the duplicate option. For example, when creating a two column layout, you can design the left column first and then simply duplicate the left column to create the right column. And then of course, I will delete the empty column. Duplicating saves time and effort since you don't have to rebuild the structure from scratch, just update the content. And once updated, your design is ready. Embedding content into WordPress has also been made super easy. You can literally grab the URL of the video or podcast or other external content, 
and paste it into your page or post. You will notice it gets added to your page automatically. And lastly, dragging and dropping is another time saver with highlighting. Did you know you can select images from your computer and drag and drop it right into a page or post? And then it will also be automatically added to your media library. And if you have the list view open, you can easily drag and drop a block to a new location. I hope these tips will help you save time and improve your workflow. Please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time.